Ebola virus and other hemorrhagic fever viruses are spread via direct contact with the blood and body fluids of a person who is infected and symptomatic with the disease through broken skin or mucous membranes or indirect contact with environments contaminated with splashes or droplets of blood or body fluids. This video is designed to demonstrate the procedure for donning and doffing the personal protective equipment that's used when managing a patient who has been risk assessed as high risk for Ebola virus disease. A trained observer must visually monitor for correct PPE use during this process. This is in accordance with current national and international guidance. The following disposable equipment is provided. Impermeable waterproof surgical gown, two pairs of surgical gloves, FFP3 respirator mask, full face shield, surgical cap, long sleeved thumb looped plastic apron, calf length overshoes and alcohol hand rub. Prior to the donning procedure, remove all personal items and ensure hair is tied back. Perform hand hygiene using the six step plus wrists hand hygiene technique. Don calf length overshoes. Don first pair of gloves. Don the surgical gown over the gloves and fasten. Don the long sleeved plastic thumb looped apron and fasten securely. Don the second pair of surgical gloves, ensuring these extend over your wrists and cover the gown and apron cuffs.
Don the FFP3 mask. Secure the bands behind and on top of your head. Fit the flexible band to your nose bridge. Fit snug to your face and below your chin. Fit check the respirator. Inhale and exhale rapidly to check the seal. Don the surgical cap. Don the full face shield, adjusting to fit. To avoid self-contamination, PPE must be removed slowly and correctly. Removing personal protective equipment is probably the riskiest stage of this procedure. It is essential that you are not rushed and that you take your time and carefully follow the steps in the sequence shown. Remove the long sleeved plastic apron along with outer gloves. Break the ties and pull away from your waist, neck and shoulders. As you are removing your apron, also remove your outer gloves carefully one at a time, taking care not to contaminate inner gloves during the process. Fold or roll it into a bundle and discard the apron and gloves directly into the clinical waste bin. Remove overshoes and discard directly into the clinical waste bin. Remove your gown. Untie or gently break fasteners and pull gown away from body, rolling it inside out into a bundle. Discard directly into the clinical waste bin. Remove inner gloves. Remove inner gloves, taking care not to contaminate bare hands during removal process. Perform hand hygiene using the correct technique and put on a clean pair of non-sterile gloves. Remove the full face shield. Remove the surgical cap from the back and discard into clinical waste bin. Remove your FFP3 mask. To remove your FFP3 mask, lean forward and grasp the securing bands from the back of your head, lifting them over your head. Pull your FFP3 mask away from your face and discard it directly into the clinical waste bin. Never touch the front of the mask. Perform thorough hand hygiene using the correct technique with soap and water.
Practicing these steps will ensure you become familiar and confident with this procedure.